Lexus hasn't really had a coupe since the late lamentable second generation dough ball that was the SC that died a merciful death in 2010. Here is something fresh, the RC. North American debut here, by the way. Three and a half liter V6 doing 314 horsepower, zero to 60 and 6.1, rear wheeler, all wheel drive, blah, blah, blah. Nothing too unusual there. But this car's got some really different lines. They've really started to put some curvaceousness into this vehicle. Much more than just saying it's a two-door Lexus IS. It doesn't look at all like that. To be honest, it looks kind of like an upscale Subaru BRZ, but they don't want to hear me say that. Powertrains, as I mentioned, rear-wheel drive with an eight-speed automatic, all-wheel drive with a six-speed automatic. In the cabin, notice Lexus has completely redone their former remote touch controller, which was about to drive me to drink, so thank you. Now it's basically a trackpad that will give you pinch and zoom. You can also flick up, down, left, right, all kinds of directional control, and as you can see, some shortcut buttons right alongside it. Want something hotter? They just did a global debut of the RCF. This car from about the A pillars forward is a very different machine. Those fenders, those have real heavily functional intake ducts. And on top of the hood, yep, that's a very functional vent as well. On the back, you've got a power activated wing that is probably there for pretty good reason because this has the most powerful V8 they've put into a production Lexus. It only shares a block with an IS's V8 and the heads and all the other mechanicals are much faster revving, more powerful. Now, by the way, back to this RC, it has a variable valve technology that's now electric. That means that they can do just about anything with valve timing and phasing, which means when you're not pushing it very hard, it can run in an Atkinson cycle. In other words, lean burn like a Prius, step on it, and it turns into a high compression machine. Hard to do with that extremely addressable valves.